All right, so we're just here with Creed this morning. We're going to be letting him out of the uh, kennel and uh, walking you through kind of how we usually start the morning here with Creed. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we'll let him out of the kennel. We have his e-collar already on him. We've already put that on. We opened the door up, put the e-collar on him there, and then we close up the door. We also have our slip leash here, which we're going to put on him. And these are kind of the ways that you're going to start the day with Creed when he comes home, right? You're going to come down to the kennel, put his e-collar on, turn the, turn the e-collar on, turn the remote on, put the e-collar on, and then you can slip the leash on him as well, just so you have a little bit of physical control over him using that leash. For the first, uh, you know, the first couple weeks he's back home, we always recommend using that leash throughout the house. But anyway, we're going to go through the process of how we like to start the morning with him, using our commands, keeping him in his downstay as we open up this kennel door, making sure he's not sneaking out or proactively, pro preemptively trying to rush out of the kennel um, with excitement. So I'm just going to put the slip leash on him here with one hand. So usually when we put the slip leash on, make a P shape, toss it over the dog's head there, and then we can just cinch this up. Kind of hard to do it with one hand here, so we're going to call that good. I'm actually just going to tighten this up one second. Okay, sorry about that. Dropped the phone on the ground. Okay, so we got that cinched up. We got the leash on. We have him in the down command. Now we're going to stand up here and make sure he doesn't stand up. If he stands up with us there, like again, trying to anticipate getting out of that kennel, we'll say no and we'll just tap on our e collar here at this on this uh, black S button. That's the correction button here. That's the stimulation button. And that's what we're going to do if he gets up. Nope, down. Good. We'll give our command, we'll say down, and if he doesn't immediately lay down, we'll tap on that S button right there. I turned that level down quite a bit from the, that a 16 ounce to a seven. So we turn that level down to a level that he's responding to. Now we've got him in the down, so what we can do is grab his leash here, and then we can release him. And the way we can release him is by either giving him a break cue or a recall cue, or we could also heal him out of the crate and then just start walking towards the door. What I'm gonna do here is recall him to me and then ask him to sit. So creep, cap, good. Good boy. Creep, come. Big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Sit. Good boy. That's good. That's a good sit. I don't mind the big stretch there at the end. Of course, he's going to get that in. So again, we'll recall him out of the kennel and have him sit right in front of us. You may let him get that big stretch in, I suppose. Recall him. Tap your tone button here to recall. So tone, creep, come, and the tone button. And then if he doesn't head out of the kennel, you can tap the stimulation and use that leash to guide him on out but that's not gonna be much of an issue. So now he's in the sit command here, and now what we can do is heal him out to the back door and release him into the social yard so he can go have a potty break. And uh, we'll probably let the other dogs out with him as well. Sit. So broke the sit command, so we're gonna get him into a sit again. Good boy. So we said sit, tapped on the black S button until he put himself back into that sit. Now what we can do is say heal. And keeping him on this left side here behind us, sit. Now, as we go through the, the, the house here, we like to make him stop and wait at these thresholds, the threshold being the stairs and the other doorways to the house, just to make sure he's not rushing up to the house, trying to get uh, way ahead of us to re race to that back door, right? We don't, want them, uh, we don't want them going crazy on the way to the amusement park. They can save that for once they get up to the social yard and then they can get a little bit crazy. Hey, Sully, Shh. no. Sully's hanging to get out. Heel, give our heel command. And you can tap on that tone button when you get that heel command as well. And again, another sit. Good. And we've pretty much got this pattern in as a routine now. Heel. Good. And then we walk through the house here. And he's in this heel position, right? This whole time. If he breaks that heel position, I'll correct that. Sit. Good. Again, sit. And then tap on the stim if he does not sit immediately when we say the command. And then we can release him out. Nope. So what we do here is we open the door. And you can see he started to sneak ahead there, right? I opened the door. He wanted to sneak up and get out, right? So we always make sure that our dogs are respecting these thresholds. Uh, going in and out the, the back door, the front door, in and out the kennel. All of these things are thresholds. We really need to make sure our dogs are respecting that space. Sitting and waiting and giving us eye contact for permission for a release. Once we get that permission, that calm state of mind, we can release him with a break command. Great break. Good boy. Nice work. Now he's going to go out and move. So she already have a pee here. And then what we're going to do is bring him back in and most likely put him on a place command here. So, but we'll probably bring the other dogs out first. All right, we'll let him inside here. So Creed sit. Good boy. Very good sit. Creed, come. 
That's it. Good boy. Good correction. You call it there. Stay. Creep. Heel. And what we can do here is we can bring him on over to uh, either his place bed. Creep. Place. Good. Sit. Nope. Nope. Place. Good. Nope. Good. Each time he gets off, I'm saying nope and pressing my stimulation until he realizes he's got to stay on there. Nope. Place. Good. Sit. Down. Good. Struggle with that one a bit this morning. So each time he stepped off, I just said nope and pressed and held down my stimulation until he returned back to that place. But living room's a bit messy here. You can see. Dog, do you need a shoe? Out. The heck is that? Okay, so you can see he's on the place bed now. So we came in from our outside uh, bathroom break, got him up, put him outside for a bathroom break. He's back in here on his place bed. Now I can go prepare my coffee, get ready for the morning, whatever I need to do, right? And then after this, once we're kind of ready to go, we can get him geared up, which he's already geared up for a walk. And we can head out for our structured morning walk, which would be the ideal routine uh, his owners would keep up with, right? Get him out there for that potty break. Bring him inside, put him on the place bed so you can get ready, and then bring him out for that structured walk, which is the very next thing that we're gonna do here with him. We'll be bringing him for that walk, and uh, we'll take some video along the way of that. Creed, come. Good. Creed, sit. Good. Down. Very good boy. You could always put him in a down stay in the kitchen so you can. Get your coffee in the morning. Not have to worry about him coming into your personal space. Using your commands like this throughout your day. Sorry about the messy house. Using your commands like this throughout the day to keep your dog, uh, to keep your dog in a bit of a structured routine, right? It's really going to make a big, big difference for them. They know what to expect and when to expect it. You'll start to see you come into the kitchen to get your coffee. Your dog will respect that boundary and lay themselves there without us asking, right? This is really, really good for Creed. He's doing super good. I can't wait for his owners to enjoy him. Good job, Creed. Sit. Good. Heel. Whoa. Nope. Come. Sit. Good. Tried to rush into his kennel, but nope. Sit. Creed. Place. He thinks that's his food. So he's in his kennel here, so now what we can do is we can take his leash off. Oh, buddy. Take his leash off here. up his food here. And then what we do when we feed them, we'll take our food here. Oop, almost got the coat caught on the crate door. Take our food, set it aside here. And then what we're waiting for here is some eye contact from Creed. Good boy, Creed. Yes. And then we can release him to that food. Just like that. Getting that permission-based eye contact. We love to do that with our food, regardless of the dog. Get them to slow down and think a little bit before they rush into their dinner there. So Anyway, that's gonna be our morning routine for Creed here. He's gonna eat and then he's gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we'll take him for a walk and do some training and stuff with him.